Check, 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 check. Hello, hello, hello. Stop, show me, sir. Audio stop. Are we live? Are we, okay, it says 12 seconds, 12 seconds. I think it's working. Let me double check here real quick. Do, 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 do. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now I have confirmed. Guys, thank you so much. Welcome back. Uh, please ignore the last for a couple of few seconds. Blah, 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 blah. I had the world's worst time trying to figure out something I was doing, trying to make it better, and trying to get it over to YouTube and studio and back. I've still got a lot to learn about this. Still a lot of fun, but I had a few quirks there, and I think I goofed something up. Had to call tech support. They came in and knocked us out. Got it all fixed up. So, first of all, first and foremost, thank you so much, new subscribers. There's a lot of you. I don't have all the names. I didn't get notification. I didn't see it anywhere, but I do know that Isaiah M. is a new subscriber. I did get a notification on that. Thank you so much. And George Mendez, thank you so much. Um, you guys, there's a couple of notifications that I got, and it shows up in my email, but not all of them do. But for the ones that I don't see, and I don't even know how to find those subscriber names, I apologize. But I am grateful and welcome that you watch my stream and, and see some of these videos that I post. Um, so let's talk about GPUs. Um, let me open this. Bear with me. I'm new to this. I want to make sure the chat is open. All right. That's control panel. Don't know if I need that or not. I want to view the doc of the chat. All right. So duck duck do is live. Duck 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 new discord server. All right. So I see that in the comment. Okay, guys, I think we are working now. I had so much here to share with you. I didn't get it in the descriptions, but I will. Uh, as a request from one of the viewers, I did create a Discord server that is accessible to anybody that watches my stream. Uh, that information will be on my channel. I'll find somewhere to put it. And I didn't, I had it in this description, but I've lost it. Um, if someone that is watching might be able to put that in the text comment for just now that would be great you guys could click over to the discord server and that would be awesome um, to check that out but I will find a way to get to that and the very next video that I make will be a little more organized I'll have more information uh, I do have some great pictures for you that I've taken I've got some updates on our computer build that we've already put together so far a couple of do's and don'ts a couple of things I like and a couple of things I don't like um, I had a heck of a time getting the thumbnail up here on this uh, broadcast but basically what I have laid out here for you is four different GPUs and some of you recognize a couple of these and, and, and if you've seen some of my other videos and there's a couple different ones here as well but um, here's what I have learned now I've got a lot to learn about computers and I really enjoy building them and over this last couple three weeks I've learned a lot just trying to show you things that I've learned and not everything has been uh, smooth. I've had a couple of hiccups, but I've worked out those hiccups and I've saved a lot of money on building a really decent gaming computer. And at the end of the day, guys, the simple fact is if you want a gaming computer, you're going to have to pay extra for that. But if you want to build a basic desktop computer that will do everything you can do at home, manage your books, uh, YouTube, um, Facebook, those kind of things that don't require a, a large output for graphics uh, load, then you can do that for a real reasonable price. I recommend that you try to build your own computer with your own parts and what you can scrounge up and save money on when you're just getting started. I expect if you're young and you want to build something that, that uh, is yours and that you can build something that can be upgraded over time, that's I encourage you to do that. I've built a lot of computers that, that weren't worthy of doing a whole lot of great things on, but they work, and I enjoyed using them. Um, so for the most part... Um, the GPU, I would say, for any computer system, is almost like the heart. Um, obviously, the CPU that does all the work, makes everything work, talks to the uh, operating system like Windows 
or Linux or whatever operating system you use, obviously the CPU is the brain. So depending on your application, depending on your budget, the GPU is what gives your computer heart. So um, if you remember the computer that we built and we started off with about $100 worth of stuff and we got an actual working, functioning, physical computer. We had a few little hiccups with that, but we were able to put it together, get it going, and with a few small changes, we were able to make something work. So now where we're at on that, and, and here's why I say the progress of this computer is because let's say you've built a computer, and as a matter of fact, the screen behind me and the blue lights behind me, that is the computer we've built on the live stream. And I'm very happy with it, but I don't know if you can hear, but it's extremely loud. The fans in there were from the original $25 parts bin. They were from a much older computer, and they're just noisy. And I've tried to modify the fan profile for different speeds and whatnot. They're still pretty loud. They're, they're basic fans. Um, they're, they're a little bit older, but they were part of our first build. We got that build done, and it works, and they're pretty. They're blue. The, I like the color, but... For me, I can hear them from here, and if I was sitting right next to it using that screen to, to see or do whatever I was wanting to do, they would be a little annoying. Fan technology, which we'll talk about at another time, has come a long way. But I say that in the sense that that's one more step for that computer that I'll want to address before we say it's a complete done build. Now, um, also, you guys have remember that we had this uh, EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti, that was part of our cheap build box. And we also had, which is really impressive looking, this HD 6970, 6970. And we thought, man, that looks great. That's huge and it takes power. It, it needs all that stuff. Well, if you remember, I couldn't even get a Nova Bench score on that 6970. And, and Nova Bench is just, if you don't know what that is, it's just a benchmark that kind of tests your GPU your computer system and sees where it's at as far as performance rating. And they make some comparison to other um, reference to cards and whatnot. And they kind of give you an idea. If you don't get any score at all, you're really it's struggling. Now, even with that HD 6970 in that computer, I was getting decent uh, web pages and Facebook and YouTube, at, but it's not a maximum performer. So, um, it's not suitable for games, basically, is what we're saying. And because it's old, and because it has the um, setup for games that were designed years and years and years ago, maybe 15 years ago, it worked for those, uh, because those demands on those games weren't as high as what they are today. So you have to buy parts that keep up with the demands of the system, uh, with the demands of the games and the things that you use in your system. Um, you can have a basic build, and the one thing holding you back would be a poor performance of a GPU. And that would be one example of what a, a poor GPU would do is if you went into a game, so let's talk about Fortnite. I enjoy playing that a little bit. You went into the game, it would stutter like an old movie at very low frames per second. Uh, a traditional standard for most games is 60 frames per second. That's uh, If you have a graphics card that is capable of performing at 60 frames per second, and at 1080 resolution, that is considered a standard. It's, it's somewhat low for advanced games and things that you want to play at super high resolution. And some of the new technology that makes these things look almost real. But at 1080, at 60 frames per second is a pleasure, pleasurable experience to play a lot of games. Um, a lot of the games have been around for a while. They're still very popular. You can change the settings on those so that it's not so much of a load on the GPU. The graphics processor unit, if you didn't know what that means, uh, which is basically all graphics cards. Um, here's another one that I've been using for quite some time. And the thing that got me, even as of a couple weeks ago, was, well, how do these stack up against one another? How do we know what to buy and when to buy? Okay, obviously, on a whim, when I bought the parts and the computer case and the stuff that we had that had the bad motherboard, these were included in there. I thought, oh, that's awesome. There's a couple graphics cards in there. And they turn out that they both work. And they're great. They're absolutely great for just putting up your Facebook or putting up a, a, a TikTok or, um, you know, open a spreadsheet or looking at pictures or something. They're, they're very poor performers when it comes to high quality video or using them in, in a game. A game is... Uh, games take much more resources than a 
um, basic video in some cases. So, but if you're watching 4K, that would just choke these graphics cards and they would stop performing altogether. Uh, so that's kind of where they are in the standard of that. So how do you know? Well, for me, uh, I went to YouTube and watched a few videos and found the people that talked about um, how to rate your GPUs. And like right now on this cheaper build, I'm buying things that are used because I want to save money to show that you can do it for a reasonable price. But at the end of the day, you can upgrade it. And the upgrade is a part that will keep you caught up with things. So um, I found that Tom's Hardware, Hardware.com has a reference. And let me see. I've got a picture of it here for you. And I click on that. So this is a page from Tom's Hardware. I will, If I don't have that link in here, I will try to get it to you as well. But if you can see my cursor here, here is your frames per second on the left. And here is your... Um, the hierarchy of the green card. So basically, it's spread out so you can see where they rest. On the, so right here is about 50 frames per second. So realistically, guys, if you're looking to build a gaming PC, anything below 50 frames per second is not really going to be worthy of any game that might be fun and to play right now. Um, so I would say that 50 is the bare minimum and would not really suffice for anything other than maybe a desktop computer you're actually doing work on. So, the Lazy Fish Keeper's here. Good morning, sir. It's so nice to see you here. I don't know if you saw my notification earlier. Um, I, I had a little technical difficulty. It took me a little bit late to get in here and uh, apologize for that. Um, so, uh, hopefully if you're just coming in, hope you get to watch some of this before. I, I don't plan on going for a very long time tonight, but uh, right now what I'm showing is Tom's hardware uh, profile. And we're talking about 50 frames per second. The standard, like I mentioned, is 60. So anything over 50, and you get up here into 60 frames per second, and you'll notice, um, let me get here with you so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So let's take this one, for example, the uh, GTX 750 Ti. If you look at that, it is way down. It's not even on the list. Not even on the list. So even at 20, um, I think that multiple pages, if you go to Tom's Hardware and look for the GPU generational performance um, at the different levels, I think this, uh, let's see, we have got to go probably to the medium or less than medium ratings for GPUs. And it's, not, it's really not even on this list. So there again, we knew this coming in because the 6970 and the 750 Ti, they really don't rate. But knowing that and knowing that I wanted to build a system that was future-proof and that we would have some opportunities to make it work for at least some games right now and then maybe spend a little more money later, then we would be able to uh, upgrade it at that time. So... If you go to Tom's Hardware, find that page about GPUs and the hierarchy, it'll, it'll give you a list of where to go uh, as far as what you need to do, what you need to do. So in what I, have, what I did is what I have done with the rest of that computer. I went on Marketplace and found, according to that chart with uh, Tom's, let's see, I think it's uh, right in here somewhere. I think I got a 1060 SC, which is super clock. And um, it's a GTX 1060. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't really see that screen over there, but I'm looking at it on another computer here. And, oh, here it is. Here it is. So the 1060s are right here in this range. Now, the 1060 was more expensive back in the day, and it's still kind of expensive if you bought it brand new. But I was able to get one for $70. Uh, I think new, there's still 120 or so. But if you look here in this little section, they're barely over the 50 frames per second rating, okay? So what I did is picked up that. Which way did my finger? Which way? Is it this way? This way? Okay, so here's the new EVGA um, 1060 SC Superclock. And this is our new build. This is the system that we built from the cheap parts, and we've added a few things to it to make it better. 
here's the blue fans over here and let's see I'll, let me show you the whole thing it's pretty cool here's the whole computer as it stands now in that in the fan tech case so here's the experience i had with this for the 70 dollars what i got from one of our other cards before was i could play fortnite i could put it on 60 frames per second and i got mediocre but playable conditions so i had to downgrade the resolution a little bit so i could get more frames because if you slow it's like running in slow motion if you're playing fortnite without frames and you don't want to run in slow motion because everybody else is playing fast so it's not just about gaming building it's more about building your own computers and whatnot but for this unit I, i'm very happy with it other than those fans are super super loud so um buying this gpu take that out of there i want to talk to you guys um was a step up and it was a great step up I, like i said i was able to play some fortnite on that unit and i know that it works and the combination of the ram that we got um the cpu we already had and then the the new motherboard the new motherboard is future proof you can add to it you can add faster and more powerful things and that motherboard will actually take a, a higher powered gpu now as far as the gpu this one i bought for 70 dollars. if i would have spent 140 dollars, i could have expected to get twice the performance, even as much as 100, 120 frames per second with a lot better flow and motion and whatnot. But if you're on a budget and you're trying to build a system for yourself, then you simply don't have all that money at one time. Um, I, it was really fun to be able to take about $100 worth of part, get a functioning working computer, and then now, obviously, we have to spend a little more money to get there. But say you budget it, say you budget a couple hundred dollars, and if you apply the future money to your system to upgrade it, put it in the GPU. But, of course, make sure you have enough RAM, and there's always a possibility you could bottleneck your CPU. I'm sorry. Yes, your CPU with the graphics card, because they need to work together. But make sure, like, use the chart from Tom to say, oh, okay, this is what I see on Marketplace. They want this amount of money for it, and this is what it's capable of doing. If it's below 50 or so, and they're asking $100 for a, a cheap, you know, somebody might say, hey, this little card here will do 4K, and it's $150. Well, guys, this is one I've had for 20 years, and you'll be lucky to look at pictures on this. Now, one thing I do know about this, I've kept this card because it works. Let's see, what is this? I honestly don't know. It's somewhere in the seven fives or 70, 70 I, I just don't remember but this is in one of the older builds and i've had graphics card compatibility issues but this one always works with all, almost every system so it's a it's pretty much a test card and it will it will play when others won't because if you don't have a graphics card of some kind in your build you unless you have a com cpu processor that has graphics built into it which there's another option we'll talk about that in a moment uh, unless you have something that'll put out graphics through your cpu your motherboard into a card even if it's the most basic one like one of these you won't get any picture and obviously that's important now as far as radon graphics and amd processors has come a long ways intel has onboard graphics as well but what that means is Pretty much everything that's on something like this is built into the CPU already. And in fact, the CPUs that they come out with now, and even the more expensive ones, even not even the most expensive ones, can run circles around this. I mean, they can literally 10 times what this old card can do. Well, when you get this big 6970, still GPUs, I apologize, CPUs, which we, we call them APUs, uh, that can process graphics through this, also can run circles around those. So be careful what you buy, make sure you know what you're buying and make sure it's a good value. Um, and, and really, you can look at all the numbers, you know, 2060 Super, 1660s, uh, 4080s, TIs, all those numbers don't mean anything other than if you know a graphics card is $1,000 versus one that's, I mean, what, we paid 12 bucks? conservatively with a $25 bundle and got two of these 
obviously the guy that was selling it knew what they were worth and that they weren't super great. But I mean, we do get pictures out of these and it does have an HDMI out. So if we wanted to watch like Netflix or something, it'd probably be just fine. But be careful when you're buying online. Don't buy something from someone that, oh, this is the best thing going. It's $100. And it turns out to be something that won't even perform at 50, like we said from the chart. So uh, Tom's Hardware is a great resource. Um, find out anytime you look at something you're considering buying, find out what the real price of it is. Go Google it. Uh, how much is the HD6970? Well, if you build an old retro computer and somebody wants to give you 50 bucks for that, it's worth 50 bucks. It's not if it's something you want to build that you need performance out of. So it's not worth it there. Uh, just don't be taken for granted or advantage of when you're buying some upgrades components. I prefer uh, if I'm going to build a super cheap gaming rig that has the potential to be upgraded, I'd rather spend my new money on new GPUs and that are rated that I understand that they're capable of what they're going to do. So let's say I wanted to step this computer up from what it does now. Now we got basic level gaming out of it now for Fortnite. Well, here's a good example. Maybe not the newest graphics card, but here is a Radon AMD PowerColor 5500 XT. And if I remember correctly, this card sells, I think it's still about $200. But as far as performance wise, this is a pretty awesome card. It's, uh, let's see if there's, it's got DisplayPort. Um, it says video streaming up to 8K. And. Let's see, free scene, all the other, see, I don't even know all this stuff, but I know you really get what you pay for. Want to see this one? I'll show you this one. Now, again, it's not about what something looks like. It's, it's really dollar for dollar. You're going to pay for performance. Pardon my graphics here. But this I mean, this looks like a good looking card. It's 5500 XT. Um, this one's not brand new, but you should be able to get somewhere around half of what retail for these cards. And if you could get one of these for a hundred bucks, it'd be a heck of a deal. Because like it says, um, where's this one rated on? Let's look at Tom's here. 5500 XT is... Somewhere in about, here it is right here, and this is the 8 gigabyte card. It's somewhere in about 75 or 80 frames per second at a medium uh, 1080 performance at 1080. Um, so it, it's just, it's, it's a step up from the others that we have here. Um, let me move this because it's going to make some noise. We'll lay this over here. Super neat card, and it's, 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 would probably get in almost every game for now, but uh, uh, just be careful what you buy. Um, don't spend your money on an old 780. Uh, I mean, this is a not a bad card. I don't remember exactly what it is, but like I said, it's not necessarily about the number, um, but you can compare like the build number. Obviously, you don't want to pay uh, 5,500 XT prices for HD six. 6970 those numbers just don't mean anything um so do your research find the resources tom's hardware pc part picker watch videos on youtube and don't be overwhelmed by all the millions of graphics cards that are out there basically frames per second is the thing to look for um the resolution which is most commonly 1080 which is a starting point if you're going to get serious about high definition video and maybe editing then you can look at 2K or 4K video output. Um, pretty much the best graphics card that's out there that you can get for, gosh, $800 to $1,000 is probably capable of doing 8K video at 200 frames per second. And so that's where you look at that and say, oh, I don't want you know spend $1,000, $1,200 on that graphics card. Visually, 1080 at 60 is pleasant, but... 1440k resolution 
um, at at sixty or even better is even better. Um, it's it's. I think there's some videos if you look at it. Uh, 1080 versus 1440 at frames per second. You could see those on the YouTube, um, depending on the output of your graphics card. <laughs> but they they do break it down a little bit. So. Um, like I said, this is kind of new for me. I've learned a lot about what I've known from graphics cards in the last couple of weeks. And the thing that I learned was to try to find one for this computer back here to build it. Now, as far as that computer, and we're kind of covered graphics card. I could talk about it more, but I would probably lose track of what I'm saying and fall asleep and you'd have to call and wake me up. Um, Lazy, I don't know if you're here or before, but there is a new Discord. Um, I will get the links to everybody. It'll be on either the next video or I will try to add it to the description of this video later once it's posted online. Uh, go check out that. I will put a link to Tom's hardware page for the what we were looking at there before for that. Um, and then I will make the connection. We had technical difficulties this evening and I just kind of got started on a whim. I had to restart my broadcast. Uh, I had to restart my stream and this worked, but... Yeah. Oh, well, obviously, you notice, I don't know if it shows, but I've changed my name on the thing. Um, welcome. Welcome to Bob Talks Tech. Or Bob Rambles on text, or Bob makes up stuff to talk about text, or Bob has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> um, guys, I enjoyed this. It's a lot of fun, but I'm right there with you when it comes to learning what to do next. And I am... <laughs> you can't tell the difference between 1080 and 1440. A lot of people say that. Um, that brings up an interesting point. Absolutely. So here's the thing a lot of people don't realize. Most monitors or televisions, because I've played, I played games on my computer on a television for a long time. Almost all the televisions you buy for a reasonable price, even brand new to this day, are only at 60 hertz, which is a refresh rate and only can refresh that rate at 60 frames per second or hertz. It's a frequency versus frames per second. But if you're playing 120 frames per second capable computer on a 60 hertz TV, that refresh rate is going down to the 60 hertz that the TV can only allow to put out. You'll miss all the frames that you don't see that your computer is putting into that TV. So like Fish here says, he can't tell the difference between 1080 and 1440. Well, the resolution is that. That's resolution. That's pixelation. Pixelization is how sharp the image is. Um, the most notable difference is from 720 to 1080. If you look at, here's a here's a the layman's ex example. 720 is an old VCR playing on your TV. It's fuzzy around the corners. It doesn't have sharp edges. The colors are faded, and it's watchable. And it's playable, and it looks better on cartoons. 1080 was like when we got cable vision at the house and it looked great. I mean, we were cable streaming on HBO and watching movies and it looked good because it was coming straight over the cable. We got out of VHS. Well, 1440 is DVD quality. And even though the 1080 looked good, we could watch those movies and enjoy it. 1440 was a little better. But if you watch 1440, 1080, and 720 at 60 frames per second, or less, even 30 frames per second, you're going to notice the speed of the reaction time of what you perceive. Well, I noticed this, and when I only went from a monitor or TV system that I was watching that was at 60 hertz to one that was capable of doing more, like 144 hertz. Well, I was still putting out the same resolution, same quality of picture, but I was able to put more of the frames on that frames per second end of the, my monitor when I got a faster responsive monitor. So keep that in mind. It doesn't matter how good your system is. If you've got a, an old TV or old monitor that's not capable of doing that, then you're going to you're gonna have lag quality of slow video, and that's going to be a thing that's going to make a difference. Most of the time, though, um, if you've got a really good monitor and you've got a decent graphics card, you won't notice a whole lot of difference until you get into extremely fast 120 frames per second and 4k video that's a little bit more noticeable but 
to be pleasant and uh, like, that's why a lot of games right now uh, and most games have somewhat of a cartoon look to them because they are capable of doing higher performance action than the visual relation because that like like fish says you can't really tell the difference but they intentionally make it a cartoonish style colorization and pictures so that it looks really good but they don't have to use all the resources and they can put it out to you faster as, as far as the speed because when you're talking about less frames per second you're talking about video that could stutter or stop and if you have a graphics card that's not capable of processing that video image it'll be like uh, 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 versus uh, you know so in, in perfect example the video camera that i'm using right now it's a 4k video camera Obviously, if you look around my room, you can see all my junk, all my stuff. There's my main computer over there. There's my tablet. Well, on a lesser unit, on a lesser camera, like a 1080 camera, which is the opposite of seeing it on video, seeing it through the camera, I mean, seeing it on a screen, you wouldn't be able to see things in the background quite so. Now, obviously, you guys can tell I'm on the level. I, I keep a level with me everywhere I go, so I'm on the level. But... Uh, the quality of the picture, it, it would be just fuzzy. The things in, you wouldn't be able to see my junk. You wouldn't be able to see what individual pieces are. And so there's so much to be said about um, starting somewhere and, and going up. Um, if you are playing or, or using a computer that works at 1080 and it, it serves all your uses and all your, your functions that you need it for and it, and it feels comfortable to you, it's great. Unless you're a serious gamer, there's no real reason to step up to 1440. Well, I have built another computer that I use as an entertainment, as a media server, and it doesn't even have a GPU. It has a computer processor, which is AMD Ryzen, and I want to say it's a 5600G, and the G on the end of a, of a number of an AMD CPU is built in graphics. Well, it's capable of putting out 2K video, and so it's more than capable of taking anything I stream from online and putting it to my TV at a really great quality picture than what I'm capable of receiving from the internet. So uh, it's great for watching movies. So um, that being said, I don't want to draw this out all night. Uh, this has been great. Um, I had some technical difficulties getting this straight. Uh, Fish, I don't know if you're on Discord or not, but I think... Um, Wolf was from last week. He'll be happy to see that connection there. Um, the Discord will be available 24-7. Uh, we've made some categories. I say we. Uh, give credit to my son, Robert. He's such an awesome young man. Um, he's, he's helped me put the Discord together and make it available to everybody. There's places to comment. Um, uh, one of my friends that we play video games with has posted a bunch of pictures of computers that he's built. Um, if you go and look at the discord you'll see his stuff there I've got to get you that link uh, but there's a place for you to put pictures of your computer systems if you want to share those with others uh, there's question and answer for them um, there'll be announcements for my live streams coming up I will get better organized hopefully than I was tonight I'll get better organized and we'll get those uh, announcements on there and I'll plan for the days that I know that I'll be available and I'll make sure that those happen on time. Uh, like I said, tonight we had technical difficulties. So to kind of wrap this up, just don't buy any GPU off the internet, off of the uh, local market. Do a little bit of research and, and really apply what you need to do, use it for. If you just need a basic computer um, system that you're going to do uh, applications and software and typing and, and maybe watch some videos or use your Facebook, whatever, for your home, um, most any graphics card around 50, 50 frames per second will work. And so even, like I said, even, even this one that doesn't even rate on a benchmark test still showed pretty good video on that computer back there. But if I had tried to put up Fortnite on this, I would have just been sitting still and wouldn't have been able to play because it would not allow my game to play as fast as the game is intended to be played. With this new one, with the 1060 SC card, it works. And it's a huge, huge improvement over nothing, uh, but it's still just a little bit slow on the settings I like. And so I have to turn the settings down a little bit, speeds the video up, but the quality goes down a little bit. So you're kind of weighing those out. So 
my best advice as far as graphics cards, save a little money, spend a little more money, get a graphics card that'll do what you want. And if you're at a point where you don't have a graphics card that'll perform quite like you want, wait until you do or until you get a really good deal on something offline. But use your resources to find out if those are going to work for you. Um, I'm not plugging anything, but for you, those of you that were here last week uh, when we worked on John's computer, I wanted to relay to you that this cooling fan for the CPU made a world of difference in his computer. He was concerned about CPU temperatures up into 120, 130 uh, degrees, which is way too high. And we installed this on the last video, and this thing is doing for him 50 and 60 degrees. It's, it's just amazing. So I went out and did the right thing, and I bought a couple of these at Best Buy. 30 bucks, guys. 30 bucks. Super easy to install. Uh, this, these are for the AMD for, format, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they also work. Don't get me wrong here. I didn't do my research on this, but I believe you can use it in an Intel application as well. I think it has the bracketry to be able to do for either one. In fact, I'm pretty sure. But guys, Hyper 212 Halo Black. Beautiful, beautiful RGB colors on that fan in the front. And made by Cooler Master. Um, watch a video. And if you're having heating issues with your computer, get, pick you up one of those. I think it was on sale for $4 cheaper than what probably going to expect to pay about $35 for that brand new. So, one more exciting thing I've got for you. Now, I, I'll tell you a little story. I went to the store the other day. And if you were available or watched the video where I showed you where you can get things for reasonable prices, um, a good place to get things where people don't know what they're selling or they have a bulk. And, and what I mean by that is, let's say, uh, well, for instance, the Fantech case that I really, really super like. I bought that off a gentleman who had it from an estate of a person that had an excessive amount of things and... Um, he was selling those things for the family um, after an unfortunate loss in the family. And there were some things left over. And I didn't really know anything about Fantech cases until he put it up for sale. And he put a price on it. I offered him another price. I, I tried to bargain a little bit because I'm trying to save money as set an example. Uh, but it turned out it was a super good case. Missed a part. And I had to go through and process and get another part for that. But when I did, it put it together. It was a super great case, and I saved about 50% off what I would have paid new for that thing. And it's, it's a great case. Um, I had the experience the other day with this. And I'm going to unplug it. So I can bring it to you. This is a Samsung and it is let me get here do, 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 do. this is a model S24 D300 HL Sam 24 Delta 300 Henry Lincoln all right and this is a 1080 monitor and the thing the reason I know that is because when I bought it I looked it up before I bought it and the first thing that caught my attention was that it had an HDMI output right here it also has a VGA output and it's Samsung which I, is a trusted brand and it's about that thin so when I looked up the model number I realized that it was a 1080 monitor which is a great, great monitor to start with. Now, and I'm not sure about the refresh rate, but I believe it's probably got at least 60 hertz, 60 frames per second, capable of, of doing a good picture at 1080. But you would expect, I, I have paid upwards $200 for one of these when they were new, and now the standard is so much higher that these aren't, they're fairly cheap. But once in a while, you'll find one of these, and you'll get a really good price on it. So I, I encourage you to be on the lookout to find these things, but here's where I got this one. I don't know if you can see that. Let me help you a little bit. Uh, 
<laughs> there it is. <laughs> I picked this up at the Goodwill. Now, $10.89. And it says tested. <laughs> $10.89. For 1080p, I believe that's a 24-inch monitor, which is pretty pretty big for me, for my eyes. I walked into the store. I was looking, I had a few minutes on my lunch break from work. I walked in the electronics aisle, and I was in this Goodwill store, and it was huge. They had so many clothes. They had every kind of clothes you could imagine. And they had one aisle of electronics. It was four shelves stacked, and it was probably 20 feet deep. And this was on the bottom with a couple of others. And when I saw that it was really thin, I said, well, that might be a decent monitor. I'm just looking for something. You know, I wasn't looking for a monitor specifically, but when you go into the Goodwill store, it's kind of a hosh posh of maybe this is a good thing, especially things that, that nobody knows what they are. Sometimes you recognize that they have a value and you can save a little money. But there was a gentleman that had this, he was looking at it, he had it in his hand. And for whatever reason, he set it back down on the shelf and walked away. Well, I went over and grabbed it, saw the price, and I was like, oh, 11 bucks. Regardless, I was going to buy it. I didn't know at the time it was 1080. And I got up in line, and he came up behind me and said, oh, I should have got that when I was looking at it, too. I said, yeah, I, I saw you looking at it, and I was like, I didn't think you wanted it. So, you know, I, I thought it was kind of going to meet a need for me, and it was part of my build. And... um uh, I said, did you happen to look it up? He said, yeah, it's, it's a 1080 monitor. And I was like, well, I was kind of hoping that it was because I saw that it had an HDMI output. And that was pretty cool. And he said, well, good job. I mean, it's, and he had bought another monitor as well. But once in a while, you can find a deal like that in the store and get a good deal. Um, it's just all monitors for most people that work in the thrift stores look the same. They're going to slap a price on it that's universal for almost all their little TVs or monitors. And you're going to save a couple of bucks on that. Now, if I didn't have anything else, this would be a great monitor for a lot of computer applications and stuff that I do. Um, in fact, the, my preview monitor here that I'm looking at that helps me see what you guys are up to is probably just just the same as that. It, I think it's, it's, in fact, it's a little bit smaller. Um, it may be just a little bit better uh, quality as far as the image and whatnot, but not much. I mean, it's just a basic monitor because it was available and I can put it right there and see it. Um, now, of course, we'll talk about my monitor that I use to game on some of the time because that, that's not kind of what, it's not the focus of what we're working on today. Uh, but um, look for the special deals. Look for uh, thrift stores. Thrift stores are a great place. Um, I have found in the past that, uh, for instance, the, the thrift stores here in Oklahoma, most of the time they'll put out new products more often on Thursday to prepare for the weekend. Um, you might be able to see a pattern. You could even ask employees and say, hey, you know, when do you get the most stuff out? And some of them say, oh, we get it all the time. Sometimes we get Tuesdays. Sometimes we do a lot of output on Thursdays. Uh, but some of them do have a system. Well, if you can plan your opportunity to be there to find those deals, especially before a lot of people get off work and, and work out a system, you're liable to catch something that's really decent. And in fact, I've bought computers from thrift stores as well. Uh, Another resource I did is I went and bought three laptops from a pawn shop because uh, I walked in and I said, hey, do you guys got any broken laptops? And having a little bit of technical experience to be able to adjust uh, laptops, um, I was able to pick, pick up three for a real good price. And I was able to get a couple of them working out of those three. Um, different subject altogether, but um, one, one of them that worked well or, or worked okay, they were fairly old. Uh, was just locked out with a password. Well, if you ever get locked out of a password on your system, there's lots of things you can do. You can pull the hard drive out and reload Windows on it. You can put other things on it. Uh, there's some videos on there. I don't condone doing anything improper or illegal, but there are certain bypasses you can do. If you own the machine and you bought it legally, there's, there's ways to get around that. But um, I think the security is much better now than XP or, or Windows 98. So... Um, that use that at your own discretion if there's anything like that. But uh, all in all, um, here's the plan, and I'm going to show this next video. Hopefully, uh, Sunday I have an appointment with a gentleman from uh, Marketplace. Today was Friday. Well, today right now. Good morning. It's Saturday. 
Uh, tomorrow, I have an appointment with a gentleman that has, get this, three original Fantech fans that are 140 millimeter, which means they completely fill up the front of our build computer, and they're cheap. They're $35 for the three-pack. Now, if you go online and go to Fantech, they're, they're $50, $60 for a set of fans. But they are the fans that were designed by the same company that makes this case. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm pretty sure they're a lot quieter. These fans like sound like little airplanes going on. Oh, and I wouldn't want to sit next to that. I think I played one round of Fortnite. and was like, I want to shut this off because it's too loud. Um, if you're experiencing the same kind of problem with your fans and your computer, it's super easy to change the fans out in any computer. Um, first of all, look where the wire's plugged in for the fan that you're wanting to replace and uh, know that that's where you'll plug in your new fan. And I highly recommend Be Quiet fans. Uh, there's some other uh, content providers online that'll say, hey, uh, give you a review of Be Quiet fans. Um, thermal Take fans, I've had a couple of those are very nice. Uh, what's the difference in the fans that we have in our system now is they're older ones and they're stiff, hard plastic, and the design makes them very loud. Well, the newer fans are hydraulic ball bearings, which are much quieter, and they, the fan blades are designed in such a way where they move wind, but they don't cut through the wind. So it's displacement instead of just cutting through and, and making the fan noise like an airplane. So there again, when I get those new fans, we'll talk about fans and cooling. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I, I bought one of these with the intention of putting replacing the stock cooler. Now this is this is a very good upgrade at thirty two dollars that I paid for it to replace the stock cooler that's on there. It will prevent uh, overheating that would result in trying to push that computer beyond uh, what it can do now if we upgrade the graphics card. Right now it's perfectly good temperature, it's not hurting anything, but also because this one has colors and with the fans that are coming, they also have colors and the ones that are in there just have blue, which they're pretty cool. Um, we'll go from that and I'll do those upgrades. And guys, the only thing left for our build that we've focused on in a few videos will be what we want to do as far as graphics are concerned. And that is what we've talked about tonight, GPUs. Um, if you took the $70 1060 uh, SC card that I bought out and you put uh, even twice that, if you put $140 into a graphics card, you're going to get a great deal of performance increase. And that would be the next step in upgrading. Obviously, we went from something that cost less than a hundred dollars, and now I have I've priced out the individual pieces, just what I have in it now. Retail wise, it's over eight hundred dollars worth of stuff, and I know we're near paid all that for that stuff. Obviously, in the video, I told you exactly what I paid for every item. I'm not going to go through that again. Go back and watch the other videos and see where I made some opportunities to make some uh, wise purchases and and what we had to do to get there. But to have an $800 computer at probably half that price of what I've invested and a couple of things, I've invested, like the RAM, that was 40 bucks for 16 gigabytes of RAM. And 16 gigabytes will get you far away. $40 more for 32 gigabytes will probably be all you'd ever need for most applications. So that being said, there's things coming for that. Those fans will be coming for that computer. Um, we'll have color options. Um, we, now we have a monitor to go with it. Ta -da. Um, we have the keyboard that was part of our unit. We have a mouse that we have. So when I'm happy, and, and, and really guys, when I'm happy should be what you're saying about your system too. Build a computer, start somewhere, but do it for yourself. And the, the happy part comes when you've successfully built it and you've saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars from buying a name brand thing that is or isn't available to be upgraded. So once you've done it, the reward of being able to do it yourself is an awesome thing. But like I said, when I'm happy with that one, it will be when it's quiet, it, it has some performance ability to it, it's gotten, it's pretty, and you know, and that's my goal for a gaming computer is kind of turned into the focus of that. <coughs> Pardon me. And the biggest dump for that was getting that really cool 
motherboard, which was uh, super cheap. I mean, compared to what it normally costs, I, I believe we paid eighty dollars for that, um, which is about half. I'm pretty sure it was about half of what it retails for. And turns out, even though we bought it on marketplace, it was used uh, because it was open, but it was brand new. And I'm I'm hundred percent confident it was brand new and never been installed into a system, even though. The cats got to the box and ripped out the corner. <laughs> so, um, guys, I'm not going to start shutting this down. It's been longer than I expected. I apologize for the delay in the beginning. Um, I will get my uh, technical aspirations together and make this happen a little better. Uh, I've got some adjustments, of course, to the room. And I want to make a little bit more presentable space. This table is okay, but um, I want to frame and, and, and make it where we can engage on a thing right in front of me to work together on it and i can pinpoint and show you i'm going to narrow down my tech difficulties i had tonight sharing the pictures with you being able to this is cool for me just being able to add a picture into the system like this i've got to learn how to do that but being able to show you this in the picture is really fun uh, it gives me an opportunity to show you things that i couldn't show you before and obviously we've had multiple camera angles but um the at some point I can share what I'm doing on it on the screen and show you real life examples of, of how a computer performs and, and whatnot. So guys, thank you. The new subscribers lazy. I apologize for tech difficulties. I'll try to get a notice sooner. I put about 20 minutes tonight and I, I lost track and I couldn't get it together to get it going live at the time. So there was a 20 minute delay, <clears throat> but, uh, like I said, the Discord, that information, be sure to check that out. Um, for anyone that's not on the Discord, it's just, if you don't know what Discord is, it's just chat server. Uh, it's got multiple little tabs, and you have to, it's just an app. Um, but if you know, you know. If you don't, um, perhaps do a Google or watch a YouTube video about Discord. Um, it's an option. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't sweat it. I just, I got, I got a little nervous when I couldn't get it to communicate. But the biggest part of it, I think it was, was changing my name on the thing here uh, to something snappy because I wanted to be like, hey, look, I'm Bob Talks About Tech. It should have been Bob fumbles his fingers and gets a messed up live stream and can't get going on time. And here we go. Wait for this to happen. And it, well, it worked out. But uh, I have an amazing tech support system in the other room playing some video games right now. And when I call, he comes, and I'm so thankful to him. Uh, bless his heart. So um, I will – I still want to do some recordings. Oh, I have uh, – again, um, there's a new member that has joined the Discord and is uh, that I play games with. He's a computer builder, I believe out of Georgia. You might have to correct me on that when, I, when we get back, but – uh, lots of new content coming from him. He's a he's a great and awesome computer builder. He's got amazing computers he's built to sell, um, and he's put a lot of those pictures in the Discord. And you can go there and look at them. Um, I'm still getting used and familiar with Discord myself. Uh, we use it as a chat thing to talk to each other, and there's also texting chats that stay there. So it's like a bulletin board. Basically, you can put information up; it stays there, and other members can go and look and check it out and read through and say oh here hey here's david's new computer builds and you guys can meet and contact and can ask questions there's a question and answer forum and there'll be an opportunity for me to put new announcements in there give you days in advance information when i know i'm going to be on um you don't have to join the discord um i will i oh i'm going to explore doing some shorts which are basically the 30 second videos like TikToks. i want to apply those to my youtube channel so Hey guys, it's Robert. I'm coming soon to a theater near, well, to your computer near you. I will be live, hopefully with all good intentions and no tech support problems. I'll be live at 11 p.m. tonight. And I, those little shorts will be right there. You pop on them, you'll see them. And you're like, hey, okay, Robert, it's Saturday night, 11 o'clock, blah, 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 blah. Sounds awesome. So uh, I'm working on the shorts, the discords, uh, transfer of information, new content. Uh, I have some new ideas for, well, let me rephrase that. I've been inspired by another YouTube content creator that I think is absolutely amazing. I'm going to refrain from saying his name right now, but uh, there are a lot of guys out there that are working hard to bring you solid quality content. And one of them in particular, 
I really enjoy what he does. I would like to emulate some of the things he does without copying him. Uh, all due respect to him, um, he's about 1,200 miles away. So if I did something similar to what he does, it would not be in uh, disrespect to him, but it would be an activity that would be supporting the channel and you as viewers and content uh, um, absorbers. Is that a thing? Content absorbers. No, I don't think that sounds family approved, so we're going to redirect that sentence. But lots of ideas I have coming up soon. Um, I will, I do intentionally want to create recorded content for later viewing, uh, possibly get into doing some editing and make it look like I know what I'm doing, uh, maybe even a logo. Um, I think maybe one aspect of Discord could be that we have a logo drawing or creating. Um, process because I could come up with something that represents my channel and, and, and it could be um, viewer supported may even have a fish in there um, <laughs> sure why not but uh, so again 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 I'm so amazed at the new subscribers uh, guys lazy fish has been here from the beginning thank you sir I appreciate you so much uh, all your comments all your contacts all your likes all your follows Everybody that joins the channel and gets to see my new content, I'm excited. I will try to do a little better at summarizing um, what I'm talking about. Sometimes I ramble. Today was kind of a cluster mess, and I kind of lost focus on being able to put the content out that I wanted to share with you about the GPUs. I was a little bit all over the place. I apologize for that. Um, normally I have notes, and I have focused on what I want to talk about. I, I think in, in the future it would probably be best if I – narrowed it down to one or two things at a time. We did some more hardware issues and installs. We talked about that one thing at a time so that I'm not all over the place, but I'm excited. The couple of things I bought, those are updates. So nothing, nothing fancy about those um, other than being able to share that with you. Um, there's another tower right here that is a computer I built a while back, but I have been borrowing things from it to make other things happen. Um, so there's, it, it's kind of a part PC, Right now, a couple of things I need to do to make it work again, but we'll we'll make that happen. Um, I'm looking at an endeavor to find broken systems uh, that do not perform or do not function at all, and then how to troubleshoot those things to figure out what you could do as a PC person yourself, or as a potential builder, or someone who just has questions about what you can do to make your system work when it's not working at all. So we'll address those issues. Again, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. Please do the like thing. It, it helps, uh, gets me some views. And uh, there again, I'm not, looking for, I'm not looking for fame or fortune or viral videos. I'm just looking to share what I love to do with you guys. And as long as you're here to watch it, I'm going to do my best to provide you uh, inf interesting content. And, oh, look, that one shut down on me. So that one timed out because I hadn't done anything on it. So that's the timing setting. But uh, Cool. I think it's time for me to shut it down too. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for being here. Lazy, good to see you again. Um, look forward to some new guys that are going to be joining the stream and some information. Uh, please check this video again. If you're seeing this and it's already been posted, I will have those additional links in the information document if I can put them there. Uh, maybe throw a couple pictures and give you some resources of what I've talked about. And other than that, guys, have a great night. Have a wonderful Saturday. Um, I'm hoping to be back again tonight um, at some point this, let's see, I, not early, uh, perhaps Sunday, Sunday afternoon, I'll have an opportunity to do some live streaming um, in real time in a normal time, um, possibly 3 or 4 p.m. I'm not sure what everybody's schedule is, but either way, I'm so happy to be able to put content in and then upload it to the YouTube so it's there and available, and I'm excited about that. So, guys, have a great night. Uh, See you in the funny pages. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great night. Thank you very much. However, I got to close this. And let's see. Three, two, one. Catch you later. I don't think it's working. Nope. It's still counting up. Okay. So we're going to be here for a while because I can't stop the stream. Oh, you just closed the dockable window. I did that. When you have a window open, and you're trying to click on another window, the window on top is more important. Thought to remember. I wonder if I eat more pineapple if I could.